Salutations, young restaurantee! You've been grinding that day shift, dealing with the same old boring customers, watching the sun shine just beyond your grasp. For some, this may be a sad and pathetic lifestyle, but for others, it's the job they've been dreaming of. Why not crank it up a notch? That's right, if you've been assigned to watch this tape, your restaurant now runs a constant 24 hours a day. While you don't have to deal with that dra- <clears throat> While you don't have to deal with the drab daytime customers, the nighttime introduces a wide variety of wacky, zany nut jobs that would only come crawling out of their cesspools shrouded in darkness. However, these customers are the least of your problems. The real threat to your fine place of business? The refreshment junkies. These scum roam the sea bottom in search of ill-prepared night shift employees. Their only means of getting in are unlocked entryways. But you wouldn't want to lock them tight, otherwise you might suffer from severe suffocation. But we wouldn't want a lawsuit on our hands. To that end, it's important to remember to pee. What is pee, you may ask? Listen closely. Protect every entrance! That's right, without P, your existence would be as dry as retention. Now, how does one keep these addicts at bay? It's quite simple, really. Sit and wait patiently for one of these hooligans to attempt a break-in. When you hear one of them trying to squirm in, run up and kick them in the face. Not above or below the nose, directly in the center to ward them off. If you're lucky, their septum will snap, forcing them to retreat back from whence they came. Good for you! You're learning how to inflict pain upon the evil that plagues you. Hot spots include the front and back doors, bathroom windows, and basement hatches. Let's say one of these criminals fully opened an entryway. What happens then? Well, these creeps adore the Shroud of Shadows, so they'll slip behind you and damage the fuse box, making their approach all the more menacing. From here, you only have the aspiration of your shift ending. Otherwise, the junkies will storm in and overpower you, drinking from our precious dispensers. Freeloading scum! <clears throat> anyway, that's all you need to know. Have a safe and spectacular night, employee! This restaurant is now held responsible for any supernatural events, killers, or auditory distractions that may impede your chance of defending your establishment.
<laughs> yep. Yep. How? <laughs> okay. So the Krusty Krab, uh, this level, um, was more of the simpler ones for me to make, mostly because the game mechanics were pretty, uh, simple, and the, uh, whole level was just, you know, a copy-paste of 3M and the Krusty Krab's Krusty Krab map, basically, which, by the way, is also used in the lobby screen as well. Um, 
Originally, the level was just a single segment of, you know, surviving one hour, and that's it. But then we decided to add in uh, difficulties, uh, starting from, you know, the easiest to the hardest, as well as a training videotape to teach the player the game mechanics if they didn't quite understand it. Additionally, um, the Hashlinging Slasher was one of the characters that got the uh, reanimation uh, vamping. I handled his animations. Uh, despite him being the most simplistic in terms of rig, he was actually the most complex to animate because I had to account for him appearing in different places at different times. You had like your baseline animations like walking and running and all that, but I had to make location-specific animations that I didn't have a point of reference of, so I had to visualize it within my brain, my, my big, thick brain. That smooth brain of yours. Ah, we don't talk about my smooth brain. <laughs> Nobody shall know from the Tentacle Acres or Bargain Mart. Dev commentary is what happens. The past is in the past. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, despite being complex and being simple, it was actually the most fun to animate. Because um, I think my favorite animation in that whole thing... Uh, was just like him leaping through the window, like running up to the window, and then just like going into a box and then popping his limbs out. I thought that was just like a nice a sort of touch. 